from my experience, you can't artificially assign that. So when I was having those questions at my sort of lowest lowest times, it was a, why am I here? Well, I don't need to be here. I've got nothing to live for now. L literally, that that you know, that's what it was mm. like. And I tried to find and again uh, uh, and, and manually assign myself a sense of purpose. But the sense of purpose comes from the, it comes from the subconscious. It comes from within. It's not something your conscious can assign, right? Uh, it, it isn't. It can't be because you know it, it's not. Then it's it's driven by your mind. Then it's not driven like from the you know your heart from your fucking soul. It, does that make sense? So what I what I ended up doing was one of the things that moved me into a state of mind which was sustainable. <laughs> should we say <laughs> was. Um, it was actually a Jordan Peterson. I was reading a Jordan Peterson book, and one of the, and in, and one of the things he said in there that you, you, you is basically alluded to that, and not so many words. Is you can't assign yourself, you can't assign yourself purpose or value in life. But what you can you can do is you can demonstrate to yourself and to your subconscious that you you are valuable because you're able to achieve, right? And you start that off with the most basic build, basic building blocks. So, for me, I would give myself a mission every day, right? I, I, I remember the, what was the first thing I did? I remember the first time I, I, I was literally said, I read it and a sort of penny dropped when he said, when it was I realised you can't artificially assign yourself that sense of purpose. You can't simply give it to yourself because you're fucking bluffing yourself is what you're doing, right? And I... I wasn't living well at the time. I was like, I wasn't brushing my teeth twice a day. My sink was filling up with dishes. The house wasn't clean. All that classic, I don't give a fuck about anything anymore, right? And I, I set myself the task of, right, tomorrow, I'm going to get up in the morning, brush my teeth straight away, and, and, and that was it. I think it's all I said, right? Because sometimes I'd brush my teeth in the morning, sometimes I wouldn't. It depends. Oh, sometimes I'd brush it fucking like six hours later. It's ridiculous, ridiculous stuff. Like a thirty odd year old man, this is at the time, and I set myself. And the aim was set yourself a task as easy and achievable, right? Smart, smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, tight, and timely, right? I did it. I got up. I did it. I achieved it. I felt good, mate. And all bear in mind, all I did was brush my teeth as soon as I got up. <laughs> I felt good because there was a mission. I achieved the mission. That's what I did. And as soon as I did it, I set myself the next task for the next day. Do the dishes as soon as I have breakfast. That was it. And when I continued to do this, I started achieving the smallest of things that I wasn't achieving before. I was jacking on myself. But because I started achieving, I'm achieving stuff in life. That's valuable. When you achieve something, it has value, right? And I started, and that's how I continued on. And there was other things that came in to help me forward. But what happened was, as life went on, I realized that the question of why am I here, what is my value in life, I am use, and the, the, you know, the, the thoughts of I am useless, the, the, they disappeared. It wasn't that I answered the question of the reason I'm here, what my sense of purpose is. It's that the question has disappeared. They went. I was no longer questioning it. I was no longer looking for a reason to exist. It disappeared. Because through achieving those little things and, and demonstrating value, not to anyone fucking else, to myself, and demonstrating value and the smallest of measurements within me, in the subconscious, I was valuable. There was a reason to exist. Simply to do the right thing. And that's it. That's literally how I think of it now. It's like you ask the, what's the reason why you, fucking hell, fucking welling up. <laughs> Jesus, well up, mate. I hate thinking about that time. I hate, I hate it. Because I, I was so, um, it's horrible. It was horrible. And I know, <clears throat> fucking Jesus. And I know other people go through it. And they don't know how to get mm. out of it. Mm. It's horrible, mate. And, 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 and uh, I, I make it sound easy. It's fucking not. Mm. It's not. It's horrendous.